Hello and welcome to your reading, Aquarius. This reading is for all Aquarius placements. So Aquarius, we're gonna take a look at your month ahead, month of May. We're gonna use the Lenormand to get the overall themes of the month, and then we're gonna break it down with Tarot and Oracle. So to get started, let's call in our guides to assist in the reading. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency, please be with us today to provide the most accurate, meaningful messages for Aquarius in regards to May 2023. Thank you for your clear and accurate messages, and thank you, Aquarius, for being here. So, Spirit, what is going on with Aquarius in May? This card wants to come out. The fox. So you may have been really focused on work, the daily grind, survival mode lately. Let's see what else Spirit has to say. Let's get one more card. Oop. I'll move it closer for now. We'll move it up when we get the tear out. So I feel like spirit, you've been in this energy of maybe work, 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 or worrying about like how you're gonna survive. Um, like just trying to get by, just like overall survival mode. And I feel like that spirit's trying to get you to realize that, like, you know, I and I think this is very common throughout a lot of signs, by the way. Um, I think you're one of the last readings I've been doing, but Survival mode isn't fully living. Spirit wants you to get out in the world and have more experiences. And I know a lot of people will be like, well, how can I do that when I have all these problems? Um, or like, you know, I need money, I need I have this and that, my family, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the more you fill your own cup up, the more you're going to be able to do your other tasks well. And I feel like you're, there's something like some less lessons to be learned, things to see. There's like, look at all this beauty, like outdoor energy. Maybe you've been inside a lot lately and spirit wants you to um, go on walks in nature. Look at the beauty in life, the flowers, you know, and just like really appreciate the world around you. Because I know times have been tough and it's hard to see that sometimes. But the more we take time to be in nature, just to be like grateful in a state of gratitude, the more we, like internally happy we feel, the more blessings come into our life. It's because we're like vibrating on a higher level and we're okay with the way things are. We're not constantly thinking about survival or thinking about all the bad things. And I know it's really hard to get out of this energy. Believe me, I've been there. I'm still in there sometimes. I'm struggling just like everyone, you know, um, but your spirit guides are really wanting you to practice gratitude. There's something here. They want you to really like maybe keep a gratitude journal when you wake up. And if you remember at bedtime, at least when you wake up starting your day by listing like five things uh, of what you're grateful for and every day list different things. And you'll see that, you know what? Life isn't so bad. And then it'll just make every day a little bit better until you're all of a sudden enjoying your life. Like, and I feel like you might be like in this energy, like, oh, I'm too old or too late for this. You know, I feel like spirit's telling you, you're just like blooming now, you know, like it's never too late to make changes that make you happy. It's never too late to start that exercise routine, to start dating again, to start doing whatever, you know, you in like, if you're like, oh, I'm getting older or something, for some reason, that's really coming through. You know what? experience makes you sexy like maturity is sexy like you know you don't want to be in like in your early age no offense if anyone watching is like 18 or 20 you know like dating then is a lot different like in doing things then is a lot different you have this maturity and experience to you no matter how old you are by the way watching this this life experience here that get, makes you like who you are and that's hot like being your authentic self is sexy <laughs> um and it's time to get out there in the world and show the world who you really are i feel like if you've been feeling physically weak or anything like that with the bear here this shows like physical strength um and also shows protection i feel like you're when i see this card often i think of spiritual protection and i feel like you definitely are here um so spirit wants you to realize like you're in this like fight or flight mode or like survival mode. Um, but they want you to be like, Hey, I'm here. I'm protecting you. You know, you're going to be okay. But the more you focus on not being okay, that's just going to show you more reasons. Why not? Why things aren't okay in your life. So really super important for Aquarius, especially this month to focus on gratitude. I think 
that would be so helpful to start to be in your daily routine. And also just like bringing flowers into your home, going out in nature, talking to your spirit guides. And also I feel like going out in nature and all this, I feel like it will help your physical strength. There's something here with like feeling a little bit healthier. Um, making sure you're sleeping enough will really help too. Because maybe you haven't been sleeping enough because of some worries going on. Um, but some self-care and sleep will be really good for you. Maybe some like weight training. Some of you guys, if you have been having any um, feeling like lethargic or like not very strong, that could be really good for you and your bones. But overall, I feel like you're going to be feeling better, especially when you get outside more. Um, and if you can't really walk that well or anything like that, um, you know, we all have different abilities. Just bringing some fresh flowers into your life, opening up the windows, fresh air inside your place where you reside, and also just looking at everything in a more beautiful lens, a new perspective will shift everything for you. All right, Spirit, what else for Aquarius? We're going to do a six card spread now. Card position one will uh, show Aquarius the main focus, main message you have for them. What should Aquarius focus on this month? What can we? What is a surprise coming? What is something that Aquarius is blind to? I'm going to move these a little bit. What should Aquarius avoid? What is your overall action and advice for Aquarius? Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. I feel like there is something. The Ten of Cups is a very happy card, like the happily ever after card. Like so a lot of people would say, this might be the you know happiest card in the, the deck. So I feel like there's some opportunity to really feel happiness and emotional fulfillment this month. But there's also this energy here of, of staying kind of stuck and afraid of change, afraid of taking risks for yourself, afraid of taking that leap of faith. And I feel like this has come up a lot for the collective. So anyway, you know, we're in the survival mode. We're like, how can we do things for myself? How can I do this when this X, Y, and Z is happening? You know what? Like the more you do for something for yourself, you fill your cup up. It's, you're going to be surprised. You're like, how can I add something to my schedule? Like, you know, how can I add something to my routine? I'm already so busy, so stressed. But when you add something that actually makes you feel good and emotionally fulfilled and happy, it'll fill your cup up and you'll realize you actually have more energy to do the other tasks in your life. And the more you're going to feel better, like, because you're going to fill your cup up. You're depleted just being in survival mode. So I feel like taking some actions, doing something new every day, or like, you know, at least starting something new that you've been wanting to do, exploring new interests. Maybe you're like, I don't even know what I like to do. You know, like getting out there and like trying new things, reading books about new things, going to the park, you know, going on walks and just maybe like something about like planting something, like having a little garden, just like any little, it might seem small, but like just try and find like what makes you feel good. And like, what is something that used to really fill you up and make you happy as a child? Or that could be a clue for some of you guys really um, make your inner child happy, but getting to get out of a funk here, if you're feeling that way, and if you're really resonating with the survival mode, doing something different will be in just trying new things, taking risks for yourself will be so rewarding. There's a real big opportunity here for feeling a lot happier. And I feel like a lot of stress for people in this group, it could be finances, which totally makes sense, you know, when you're you don't have your finances and they aren't you're not feeling abundant, like that's a scary place. That makes sense with a survival card. But if you keep thinking about the lack that you have and all of that, um, it's just going to continue. So there needs to be like a shift in perspective, Spirit's saying, um, regarding your well-being, regarding your finances, regarding life in general. Because this is like what you give back, give out, you get back type card. And if you keep thinking about lack and if you keep thinking about how life is hard, it, it's just going to show you more ways. Um, you know, your inner world is reflected in your outer world. So affirmations could be good. Anything that can help shift your mindset and spirit's really making it clear that to make you feel better, like to shift your mindset into a more positive state 
will be to try new things. So it really includes something in your day-to-day -day that makes you feel happy. Some of you guys might like, like we talked about gardening and stuff, but you might like taking pictures like or doing social media because um, the lily can um, represent um, photos, images, videos, and stuff like that. Um, maybe for some of you guys, you're like, I don't have money to start new classes or go places. There's a lot of free content online. You can watch videos to learn new hobbies, um, you know, to learn anything like YouTube. And specifically, you can just look up anything these days on how to learn it. So don't let money be a factor in not trying new things because you don't have to spend money. Um, and what can wait? We have the King of Wands here. The court cards can sometimes represent people in our lives. This could be a fire sign um, or someone that has a lot of fire in their chart. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There might be something here with spending less time with them or not focusing on this other person so much and really focusing on filling your own cup up. Because maybe there has been someone taking up a lot of your, your energy. doesn't mean you have to like cut them out. This isn't like avoid this, like this card over here. This is like what can be put on the back burner. What isn't the focus this month? So there's something there. And also maybe there's something here with like lacking confidence lately, lacking like energy, lacking just overall feelings of well-being, which makes sense with what we've been talking about. If you've been feeling a lack of confidence in yourself, you will actually feel a lot better about yourself when you start to have a little bit of discipline and start doing something every day for yourself. It only has to be a few minutes. You can be like, I'm going to spend five to 10 minutes each day stretching or going on a walk or tending to my plants or calling my best friend in another state, you know, someone that makes you feel good, something like that. Just like scheduling in something every day to make you feel better will show that you are committed to yourself and that will give you self-confidence. I feel like someone in this group really needed to hear that. So hopefully that it's helpful. But so for what you may be blind to, we have here the moon, which is interesting. This is like the moon already itself is kind of like, oh, I don't really know. I feel like there's some surprise coming for you. And I feel like it's something that's going to be emotionally satisfying here. I feel like there's some dreams. It's really coming through. Some dreams of yours that may be long forgotten. That when you were younger, because that came up earlier, thinking about like inner child. Something that you dreamed of. Like what was something you thought would be your help, happily ever after when you were younger or whenever, you know? It's like you're realizing some lost dreams. And don't be sad about that. That's actually a beautiful thing that you're remembering this month because then you can take some action towards it. You know, and you might be like, oh, that sounds silly now. For some reason, that's really coming through there. Like, I can't, you know, like, no, you can do anything. It's never too late. That's really coming through with your reading. But you're, you're like realizing some lost dream. What is it? Like, maybe you want to go fishing. I don't know. <laughs> you want to go travel. You want to. Be a photographer, do arts, or take up running. Maybe you've always wanted to run a 5K, or you know, it could be anything. But I feel like you're, you're. There's something here with remembering your dreams, and maybe this is your call right now from spirit to really think about that. What did you always want to do? What's something that you like loved when you're younger? I feel like there's some remembrance coming, and there's an opportunity to to try it out. And I think it will be so rewarding for you. For what to avoid with the Seven of Wands reverse, this is a very defensive card. I feel like you've got your walls up, your defenses up. We can sense that too. It's like I have really feel this energy. I can't do that for whatever X, Y, Z reason. It might be different for everyone. But it's never too late to go after your dreams. It's never too late to try and make yourself, like to find what feels good, to find what makes you happy. Maybe some people in this group want to leave a relationship or a job or it just something kind of big like that. And that's really hard. But like, you know what, you're ultimately your happiness and satisfaction is important. You know, you might not be doing certain dreams of yours because you're afraid of how it will affect other people. But you know what, the happier you are and the more you treat yourself well and respect yourself, the better influence you are on the people around you. They'll respect you and they'll want to, they'll like want to be like you, you know, they'll be like, wow. She follow, she or he follows, or they follows their dreams. I can do that too. You know, like if they can do it, I can do it. Like you will actually inspire people around you. It's not selfish. It's not too late. And the overall action and advice from Spirit I Love, this is the Nine of Pentacles. This is doing what makes you feel good, Carl. This is like 
being independent, doing what fills you up, going after your hobbies, finding out what your hobbies are, treating yourself with love and respect, the self-care you need, sleep you need. You're not afraid to put your needs out there and meet them, you know? It's okay. It's not selfish. It's time to work on what makes you feel good. Make the changes that make you feel good. And it doesn't need to be drastic. Again, just little things every day and then I'll add up. It'll bring you some confidence. Just have some discipline for whatever this is that you choose to do this month. And ultimately, you have the chance to find what makes you feel happy. You might find this new hobby or something of yours that ends up being a career. Or maybe you start dating again and you end up meeting the love of your life. This is like something that can ultimately lead to you feeling that happily ever after feeling those dreams you always wanted. And all it, it takes is just getting started. The hardest part is getting started, taking that risk for yourself, going after what makes you feel good, letting your guard down, being vulnerable being honest with yourself about your dreams and what you want in life. This is a major thing. This can lead to such happiness for you, Aquarius. And Spirit's really guiding you and protecting you at this time and wanting you to realize it's not too late. Now is the time. Now. It's, if not now, then when, you know? Maybe for a while you've been saying, I'll do that when my kids move out. I'll do that when they go to college. I'll do that when we X, Y, Z. The time is now. Living in the present moment is really important not thinking about the past not worrying about the future living for yourself today you are ultimately going to feel really fulfilled and happy when you start doing this Aquarius All right, what else spirit for Aquarius maypole I am fertile in what I seed for there is reason to dance and drink upon the riches I receive Ooh, I like this let's read Celebration is the keyword. I feel like, like seriously, there's something that's going to lead to celebration. Like, you should celebrate yourself because you're awesome. But anyway, don't wait for happiness to find you. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, don't wait for happiness to find you. You can choose to be happy right now at this moment. Sing, dance, spend time with loved ones, and celebrate just because you're alive and you can. Focus on enjoying life and doing what gives warmth to your soul. The situation you have inquired about is still developing. No amount of stress or worry will fix your circumstances, but you will find yourself with a sudden spark of inspiration once you allow your doubts to fall away. Solutions can come in the most unexpected ways and will often do so when you give your fears to the universe so you can go out and play. The universe takes pride in your willingness to trust in its power to move mountains on your behalf. You will be rewarded for this. Trust and all will be well. Do not think about... Do not think you must obsess over your circumstances to overcome them. And nor must you spend every waking thought on your intentions to manifest them. Let the universe know what you need, then go and allow yourself to embrace the joys of living. How perfect is that? That just wrapped up everything we were talking about in a more eloquent way. <laughs> Don't wait for happiness to find you. Let the, get clear on what you want, trust that the universe will provide, and do things that make you feel good every day. I am fertile in what I seed, for there is reason to dance and drink upon the riches I receive. Wow. I, I really like this energy. I hope you enjoyed this too, um, Aquarius. I hope this resonated and was helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Leave a comment. And do something special for yourself. I love you so much, Aquarius. Have a great month, great day or night. I love you. Bye, Aquarius.